A mock election in Beijing, Chinese getting a chance to vote on the day of the U.S. elections. Not something they're used to. Opportunity for me to um, know the culture of different country. Oh, popular, popular vote. The event hosted by the U.S. Embassy was a chance to showcase the American electoral system. News of Barack Obama's win was welcomed by most, perhaps because of the tougher line Mitt Romney took towards China during his campaign. Uh, Mick Romney has uh, really did hard, tried hard, tried harder in bashing China, and he repeatedly made the threat that uh, if he becomes president on the first day, he will label China as a currency manipulator. Obama faces his own challenges with China. Both sides view each other with suspicion, largely over issues of national security. China is feeling especially threatened by what Obama calls the rebalancing of the U.S.'s military presence in the Asia-Pacific region. Analysts say the future of the relationship, though, is less about who's in the White House and more about who will emerge next week at China's helm. The publicity and the hype of the whole election process couldn't be more different from the way China selects its new leaders. The country's 1.3 billion people don't have any say in that process and so feel somewhat divorced from the event. Security is tight around Tiananmen Square where the Congress opens on Thursday. More than a million volunteers have been drafted in to keep an eye on the streets. Pigeon fanciers have been told to keep their birds grounded. Balloons and toy helicopters have been banned from the skies, all in case they're used to display subversive messages. The state is not risking any upset to this tightly choreographed event. Laura Kyle, Al Jazeera, Beijing.